So what I'm going to do today is replace the pins because if you look at these, they're pitted and it doesn't charge on the charger. So I've already taken the the wristband off. I've removed the screws and the plastic, uh, plastic there are little rubber things in the screws that go in there. And to separate it, you just need to get something in there, a piece of plastic. Uh, if it's tighter, you can use like a, a credit card and get in there and pry it apart. Once it's been apart once, it seems to be easier to come apart. And to remove the pins, so if we look at the pins there, it's these two pieces here. And you can pretty much just take a screwdriver and push them through. But there is, a, uh, if you look at some of them, the plastic here is kind of melted over a little bit to, to help hold it in place. Um, I have another one here. And uh, I don't know if you can see this one a little bit better. But the, the plastic is melted over just a little bit. So it would be a good idea to take an, an X-Acto knife and try and trim down the edges just a little bit to try and get that um, the plastic a little bit the edges of the plastic so that when you pop it out you don't break the pin right off um, if you did you could probably just put a little bit of glue in there to hold it uh, it's going to be held by friction and the pin has a little rubber seal there. So this is the one out of here. I popped it out already and you can see there's a little rubber seal on there. This is the donor body from another watch I had that had a broken screen. And so I'm just going to use these to repair this one. I was originally going to take this whole bottom assembly and put this on here, but this is an older watch and this is a newer bottom. And it has a new piece in it, this piece here. And so it doesn't fit because uh, part of the, on the new one, it doesn't have this side plastic. So first thing we want to do is just take the, the knife and just kind of trim some of that plastic away from the edges there. The black, the black base here doesn't seem to have as much as the red one. But yeah, you just want to kind of trim some of that off. And then pretty much you can take a, a small screwdriver or a nail or something and uh, put it on there and just push gently push it through. making a liar out of me. This one was a lot easier. <laughs> so maybe on the older ones maybe they maybe they uh, are pressed in a little harder. And you can see I didn't get enough of the oops, a bit of that a bit of that pin broke off but there's still some pin there to hold it in place. And you can see also, I don't know if you can see that now, maybe it's a little easier to see that it's pitted. The gold plating is actually missing. There's actually a, an indentation in here. That's uh, quite significant actually. So I'll just pop these out. there's the two old ones and the new ones we're just going to put in and I'm just going to press it in a little bit I'm 
trying to line up that uh, where that plastic piece goes in there. And when I popped it in, it did make a little bit of a click and there's a little bit of plastic there so I could take my soldering iron and um, just melt that a little bit to keep it from moving around. But you know what, once it's all together, it's probably not gonna move. But uh, yeah, so now it's got one new pin. I'm gonna steal the other pin from here. You can buy these pins. I've seen them online. I'll try to put a link in the description. But uh, yeah, they're actually pretty easy to replace, so that's good. I haven't noticed any pitting on my new one, so this might be an older uh, problem with the older um, watches. The Gear Fit 2 and not the Gear Fit 2 Plus or something like that. So the two pins are in there. They look good, they look nice and gold. I've got my soldering iron heated up and I'm just going to just going to take it and just touch it just to melt over the edge just a little bit but like I said I don't think that's critical because once it's all together you have <clears throat> you have the contacts pressing against those um, which contacts press against those? Oh yeah, it's this. There's a contact there and a contact there that push against it. So those will help hold it in place. And once that's done, we pop it together and I'll throw it on the charger. So here's a charger. And there we go. Now it's going to charge a lot easier. Before, uh, with those pins, uh, because they're corroded, they wouldn't make contacts here. And uh, you'd have to wiggle it around and try and get it to, to line up and charge. Uh, now with the new pins, drop it on and right away, no wiggling and fussing. Around. And that's it. If you enjoy the video, like and subscribe and uh, more to come.